video is an updated hair care video routine and these are always really popular with you guys and you always want to know what I'm wearing in my hair and how I've been treating my hair and that kind of thing and my routine has changed completely since the last one I did. Um, I have had my hair cut which I mentioned in a previous video if you want to know more about that I'll link that video down below but my hair is kind of different now and I have realised that I have to kind of treat it a little bit differently as well so I've been doing a few things really um, to kind of give my hair a bit more body and a bit more shine and a bit more shape and I'm going to talk you through the products I'm using and the technique I'm using as well which is a little bit different and something that I haven't ever talked about on my channel before I don't think. So I'm going to get started with my shampoo and conditioner first and I did notice I was getting a lot of product build up very, um, very often because I do use a lot of products in my hair. I need to use a lot of products to kind of maintain the curl. So I was getting kind of a lot of product build up on my scalp and I hate that feeling. So I decided to kind of buy a clarifying shampoo and I tried a couple of different ones and this is by far the best one I've tried. I don't use this all the time, I only use this about once or twice a week depending on how my hair is feeling. But this is the Boots Expert Build Up Removal Shampoo. It smells horrible, it kind of smells like public swimming pools or something like that. It just really doesn't smell very nice, but it does a great job at removing the buildup from your hair and leaving your hair clean and therefore giving it a bit more body. So this is really essential. And then for shampoo and conditioner, I've been using this combo lately and I'm really, really enjoying using these. These are the John Frieda Liquid Shine Illuminating um, Shampoo and Conditioner. Now what's great about these is they have kind of small particles of shimmer inside them. I'm not sure how well you're gonna be able to see. Um, you can't tell as much with a shampoo actually, they're a bit wet because they were in my shower. But um, with a conditioner, they've got small particles of shimmer in them so they really leave your hair feeling a bit shiny. And it's just kind of like a thin cream. I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick up on any of the shimmer that's inside it. Probably not, it's very fine. But it's lovely, they smell kind of like holiday, they smell a bit coconutty and sun creamy, I love that kind of smell anyway. And I just put um, the shampoo all over my hair, kind of lather it up properly and then apply the conditioner just to my ends, I kind of only put conditioner here, brush it out with my tangled heat, I haven't brought that to show you because it's wet because I always use it in the shower but I'm sure you know what that looks like because I've talked about it loads and I've actually done a, vid a review video of it I think as well so I'll put that in the down bar if you want to go and have a look. But I use my tangled teaser and I brush through my hair when it's got conditioner on it. That's the only time I brush through my hair. Very, very, very essential if you've got curly hair to not brush it when it's dry. Um, so I brush it through with conditioner and then I kind of do my parting. Now, I always like to have my parting going the opposite side to how I'm gonna wear it once it's dry. So I kind of part my hair like that, brush it, um, rinse the conditioner and the shampoo off completely and then scrunch my hair a little bit in the shower and wrap it up in a towel. The Soap and Glory turban I use or just a towel, I'm kind of not overly fussed about it. I know a lot of people swear by using like a cotton t-shirt and that kind of thing and say it helps eliminate frizz. I didn't find it really did that for me and it kind of was just an extra step to have to include and to fiddle around with. So I just use a towel. Wrap it up in a towel, then go ahead and like do my face, put my moisturizer on, all that kind of thing. I do this all at night, by the way. And something that's also very important to mention is I haven't been washing my hair every night. I've been doing it one day yes, one day no. So for example, I washed my hair last night, I won't wash my hair tonight, and then I will wash my hair um, tomorrow night. So I've kind of just been having second day hair and as much as it doesn't look as nice as kind of first day hair with curls, it goes a little bit frizzy and a little bit weird looking, I have just been finding that it kind of saves me the hassle of having to wash it because that was really, really putting me off and I was finding myself, especially in the colder weather, straightening it more because I didn't want to have to wash it every night and I really don't like washing my hair, it's something that I really kind of... Um, not resent doing but I just don't enjoy it and I don't like having to fiddle around with it and that kind of thing. So I wash my hair and then I'm going to go ahead now and show you the products that I use in my hair. So the kind of scrunching my hair up method and putting it in the towel is the same as in my last hair care routine which was back in the summer I believe. I will link that down below but the products I'm using are completely different except for one I believe. And then once I've done my face I'll take my hair out of the kind of towel and tip it upside down and go ahead and use the first product. Now each of these products has got an important role to play in giving my hair the definition that I want it to have and it does sound like a lot of products but I do use a really small amount of everything. The first one I use is the John Frieda Frizzies um, 
Dream Curls Enhancing Oil. I'm not being sponsored by John Frieda. I just happen to like these types of products. Funnily enough, I don't like any of the kind of frizzy shampoos and that kind of thing, but this I really like. I just give it a good shake and then use this all over my hair and it helps to really give a lot of definition and make it look um, shiny. Then I'll go ahead and apply some cream and using cream helps to kind of define the curls, but you want to find something that's not too heavy and only use a small amount of it and kind of make sure it's dispersed evenly. So at the moment I'm using the Bumble and Bumble Curl Conscious Calming Cream. This is just very light, but it's still got a bit of um, hold to it, so it does give you that nice definition. Again, put this all over and I do this all with my head upside down. Then I go in with mousse, and mousse is the key product here with my hair. I know a lot of people don't like it, but for me it's just the star product and it's the thing that makes the most difference. And I'm absolutely obsessed with this one. This is the TG Bedhead Foxy Curls Extreme Hold Mousse. Go for something that's got a bit more holes because it does really help to shape the curl a little bit better. And this smells amazing as well. It's got like a really kind of sweet smell and it's just great, great, great. I got this from Dirty Looks, I believe, which um, I'll try and link in the down bar for you. But really, really great and I will definitely, definitely repurchase this. I love it. And then I've got the mousse all in my hair. I kind of put some on my crown, scrunch it up and just keep scrunching. Don't kind of brush through with your hands, just scrunch. And then I'll go ahead with one of these products. Now this I mentioned in my previous one. I'm nearly out of this. And this is the VO5 Give Me Texture Tussled Style Spray. I use this sometimes, I used this last night, and then other nights I will use the TG Catwalk um, salt spray. But anything texturizing and salt spray related is great because it just helps to give you that little bit of definition and it kind of gives you that messy look as well, which is really great. So I'll put all those in my hair and then leave it in a towel for maybe like 10 minutes or so. And then this is the key point that I didn't mention before and I haven't been doing before and is I and that is I diffuse The diffuser in hair. question is this one right here by Nikki Clark. And this is one I've had for a really long time. I bought it about four or five years ago, four years ago I think it was, and I didn't ever really use it and it just felt like a kind of unnecessary step for me. But this is what I've been doing lately and I've just found that it's really been helping my curls look fuller and helping with the drying time and also helping the curls kind of last because I'm not washing it every night. If you want me to do a whole video about how I diffuse my hair, I will, but there's kind of a few tutorials on how to do it on YouTube and it's very, very simple. Again, I just tip my hair upside down a little bit, kind of scrunch it. I don't do it on the hottest setting. I tend to try and do it as much as I can on the cool setting because that kind of helps to eliminate the frizz. And then at the end, always make sure you blast it with a cold air setting because it kind of helps the curls lock in place, if that makes sense. But I like this one because it's really big. I think if you've got a lot of hair and you've got quite long hair, then the big ones are the best because it just kind of saves you time. And I like the fact that it's flat rather than the kind of barrel shape because the barrel shape, I feel like sometimes they can kind of create a weird sort of the pattern of the curl they can create can be a bit of a weird shape this is a kind of natural shape and it just kind of makes my hair a lot more um, manageable and gives the curls a nicer shape and I just really really am enjoying using this I, I'm, I have been using it for a couple of weeks now and I just feel like my hair looks really different and it looks kind of more healthy and curlier and full of life and that's kind of what I wanted because my hair was just getting so long that it was becoming a bit unmanageable so this has been really helping get the curls back in shape. So as I said, this one's by Nikki Clark. I'm not sure which one it is, because um, as I said, I've had it for a really, really long time, but you can get them from various places and it, I'm sure it wasn't expensive. I think it was around 35 pounds. So you can get them and they're pretty cheap and I absolutely love it. So that's my kind of hair um, routine that I'm doing at the moment. I hope this was helpful because so many of you asked me if I could kind of update you with what I'm using and am I doing things differently and that kind of thing. And I don't like to talk about it until I found a routine that I really love because I do chop and change my products very, very often. Um, same goes for skincare. I'm gonna do a skincare video soon because I've kind of settled into a routine, but generally speaking, I try so many products that I don't really settle into a routine. And I have done with this um, hair care and I really love it. I love how it looks and I'm just really pleased about it. So I will put all the links and everything in the down bar for you. And a quick mention as well, because this video is going up today, is the 22nd, I believe, are we on the 22nd today? Um, that wrong we are having a little giveaway where you could win a dress and i'm going to put all the info down below for you to go and have a look at it but this dress is going to be on sale for 16.99 dollars that is us dollars on the 23rd of january and it's a really kind of cool black dress that um is going to be on sale and i've also got a discount code for you as well which is only valid on the 23rd of january so go and have a look at it then but the discount code i'm going to put 
here, there's gonna be a little annotation here with a discount and you can get 10% off on that day only. But if you want to enter the giveaway and possibly even win the dress for free, then I'm gonna put the link down below and all you need to do is follow their Facebook page and leave a comment um, about why you like the dress. And that's it, that's all you need to do and you could possibly win it. I'm gonna leave the giveaway open for a week, I think. Um, I'm gonna put all the info and that kind of thing down below and then you can win it anywhere in the world um, is eligible and yeah I hope you win it and let me know it's, it'll be a nice kind of sexy dress to wear on Valentine's Day as well I've got loads of Valentine's Day videos coming up as well I'm really excited about that um, but yeah I'm gonna go now because I've probably talked for far too long anyway 